You're a salesperson and you want guerrilla marketing tactics. That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. So you're a salesperson and you want to sell more. Well, I don't know if you've ever read the book, Guerrilla Marketing, but I, I, I read that book years ago. And I mean, the, the strategies, yeah, they were great back then, but boy, times have changed. So you want guerrilla marketing tactics? Well, then listen up, salespeople. The first thing I want you to do is 20 touches per day. And I'm talking about on Facebook. So follow the 20 touch rule. I mean, when I'm in my prime by using Facebook, when I'm really pushing it, I'm using 20 touches. So remember that. So your 20 touches, you can break it up however you want. And what I mean by 20 touches is you can connect with 10 people and you can do 10 posts that equals 20. 20 touches per day, or what you could do, and when I mean posting on Facebook, what I'm talking about, break it up. It could be, you do five posts, you, you comment on five different posts of other individuals that are you know, your friends, and then you add 10 people of, you, know, you, you scavenge business cards, you scavenge your database, and you connect to 10 people. That would equal 20 touches. So however you wanna break the 20 touches up, do it, but make sure you're hitting 20 touches per day. Let me explain it one more time. You show up, make your plan, work your plan, but you're gonna connect with, let's say, five people for that day. It means that you have to do 15 posts. And again, a post could be you're commenting on somebody else's feed, or you're posting something going on at the dealership, or if you're not in automotive, that you're posting something going on in the business. I mean, don't make it a sales pitch. Try to be entertaining, try to be fun. Try to do something that stands out. And by all means, go get a selfie stick, because I'm absolutely loving my selfie stick this week. All right. So 20 touches, that's step one, 20 touches with Facebook. Number two is YouTube. I want you to start doing five touches per week on YouTube. And what I mean by touches, videos. I mean, if you're not using videos as a salesperson, you need to start. Video is powerful. Another reason for a selfie stick. But when I want you to start doing videos, I mean, do a video, do a video of the sunset, do a video of the, the sun, the sunrise, do a video of your dog running through the yard, whatever. I mean, think about it. The iPhone has got some great video capability. So does the Droid. I mean, you've got slow-mo, you've got all kinds of filters, you've got all kinds of things that you can do with video on your cell phone. Start doing video. I mean, start doing video. What do you do at work? Explain what you do at work. I mean, just try anything. As long as you're doing five videos per week, that's all that matters. Just don't make it a sales pitch, guys. I don't want to see the sales pitch. I mean, if you put a little bit of a sales pitch in there with, you know, the storyline, Fine, you can do that. What YouTube, what we find out from YouTube, Google did a study with YouTube, since you know they own one another, more or less, and they found out that YouTube celebrities are uploading an average of 34 videos per month. So think about that. I'm not asking you to do 34, but hey, if you wanna be an overachiever, by all means, do it. So five videos per week, again, your dog, your children, whatever, just shoot videos. I mean, but think about it. If you have a hobby, let's say that you play a guitar, shoot a video of yourself playing the guitar. Let's say that you sing. Hey, Ryan, that's a shout out to you, buddy. So I want you to sing Purple Rain for me, okay? And do a video of singing Purple Rain. Put it on your Facebook page. You see how what's happening? Now you're using YouTube, you're generating content with YouTube video to be able to upload to Facebook. So it's all working together. But again, five videos. The best way to do videos though, is to think about your interest, your hobbies, everything that you're interested in, and do videos based on that. Because it, we're talking social media here, guys. So get social and let people get to know who you are, what your interests, what your hobbies, and you guys will connect. And before you know it, they become your clients. All right, so that was number two. Let's move on to number three. You ready for the old school here? Email marketing. You're a salesperson. What you put into it is what you're gonna get. Don't be a lazy, you know what? Get aggressive about this. You're a salesperson, you gotta have a marketing strategy, which means you need to have an email marketing account. And don't try to do it through Outlook and all that. Just spend the few bucks. Get on Constant Contact, MailChimp, one of those, whatever. MailChimp's pretty cool, by the way. 
So get on MailChimp. It has an automation, it has all kinds of great stuff. So now I want you to send an email every three weeks, but stick with me on this. I want you to pick a date that you're gonna send it. So let's say that you're gonna send it on the average of the 15th or the 16th or the 17th of the month. I want you to pick that date and I want your email to always go out within that three day range, like the 15th, 16th, or 17th. If you do this, your opt outs will come down because people will start to expect it. I know you're wondering, what am I gonna put in an email? Get creative. What are your interests? What are your hobbies? What do you like? Put that into your email. Let somebody know who you are. Again, if you play a guitar, which I don't, by the way, I don't even know why I thought of a guitar thing and I don't play any musical instruments, so don't even ask. But if you sing, Ryan, sing Purple Rain and put that video in that email so people can see it because you're going to have people connecting with you on Facebook, on YouTube, and then your email marketing. Some people don't really use Facebook. I know that's crazy. 87% of the population does. So there's a percentage you don't. But anyway, the email marketing, what I want you to do again is put things in it. Maybe you like to cook. Well, put a picture of you cooking something and maybe you can get a nice little vest, a nice little tie and be fixing your chicken. Well, if you follow me on Facebook, you know what I mean. But anyway, you get my point. So put a recipe in there, put a recipe, a smoothie, whatever, smoothie recipe, whatever you want to do. And then put what's going on. What are some local events? What about local football, baseball, hockey, whatever? Put the local events in there. Make that email a resource. All that information's online. So you're basically almost copying, pasting into an email. And with MailChimp, Constant Contact, any of those email platforms, they give you a template. Pick the template you're gonna use, stick to that template, and by all means, make sure there's a picture of you in that template with a signature, your phone number, your email address, and you're a salesperson, you better be willing to sell all the time, I am. So get your mobile number in there too, so they can contact you. But you gotta have that picture of you in there, your face in there, so they can remember who you are. Again, the email marketing's simple, and you wanna send it out every three weeks. Like, let's say the 15th through the 17th, just stick to it. If you do those three guerrilla marketing tactics, I guarantee you, your sales will double from what they were last year. It's gonna take a little time to get going, but what I do today, I'm gonna see the results in 90 days. So stick with it, keep doing it, and and I guarantee you, your sales will skyrocket. You'll be making more money than you know what to do with, at least let's hope. And if you need any help on that, give us a shout. You know, connect with us on Facebook. In fact, connect with me on Facebook. And if you've got some questions, post, and we'll help you all we can. And I'll see you next week.